Well, hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 22 and, of course, Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Indeed. Now, I realize it is the, uh, oh, hope you're all doing well. <laughs> it's a Saturday morning and a wonderful one it is. Um, it is still the same day. It is September 5th. And the reason for that is, I figure after putting you through the contract yesterday, the least we could do is share in the big victory prize. So, the last truckload is here. And, uh, ooh, that's a... That's a pretty steep hill. I hope we're going to be able to get out of here. The last truckload is here. We're going to dump it in and uh, see if we can send our balance of $16,949 right through the roof to like seventeen or $18,000. Okay. Here we go. Let's pop the top. Reveal all that wonderful grain. So I guess this trailer's not too bad once you figure out how to use it, which means opening this. And the first tip side we're going to want is front. There we go. And we should get a tip for that. There it is. I'm not sure how much of this it'll take to fill the contract. Hopefully we'll get a little extra grain in there. You know, a spare dollar or two wouldn't hurt my feelings. Okay, let's uh, move to the next position, which is middle. And there we are. We're over the hole. Ooh, barely. Oh, I hate the way this camera works on this. It's right between these two buildings, eh? So, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, that's it. Let's go to the next position. Go back. And puddle along till we hit a prompt. There we go. And this should do it. At some point, we should finish. There it is. Ooh, and we got our discount on the field. Ooh, look at that. Another 11,000 in sold products. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, I'm liking this. All right. Let's pull out of here. Just to be nice to the poor dude that's got to come and pick this stuff up. Because, uh, well, we're done. Yes, we are. Not bad. 11,000 in extra crop. Ooh, ooh, there's something to this contractual obligation stuff after all. Let's, uh, yump in. Let's head down to the Board of Contracts and... Completed! Let's say, collect. Alright! Look at that, man. Not bad. What else we got? Plowing? I don't think so, Jim. Ooh, 37,000. What kind of plow do they give you? Oh, yeah. Still. They want four grand just to... Well, that is a pretty gnarly-looking tractor, I suppose. Now, there's a nice harvesting contract. What field? 23. Hmm. Don't know why I went out of that menu. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that really, really funny field right next to the one we did. Or on the way to the one we did, I should say. And it's, um... Yeah. Because, like, you get a little piece and a corner and a little piece and a corner and a little piece and a big piece and a little piece. Oh. I think we'll, uh, go home. Alright. So, we now have... 41,000s of dollars. So, next on the agenda will be, let's get the greenhouses running. Oh, how's our... Uh, hey, 12,000 liters of silage. Not bad. Now, that of course isn't the next thing. The next thing is, is that I play fair and we go and kill the day. So, without further on glue, 
Let's get into our house. I really gotta put those in the fridge. And I'm stuck. I just gotta lose some weight, man. He's fat. Find that trigger. There it is. Uh, we'll do seven in the morning. And let's go. Now, we don't have any lucky spinny wind things or nothing, so we won't be making any money here by the night's end. Hopefully, it won't cost us too much. I still don't know what this property maintenance, man. Am I paying land taxes or is some dude coming and mowing my lawn? Well, for 32 bucks, I don't think it's either. I think that's just one of them gratuitous charges that things make up, you know? Like the phone companies and the banks. I assure you, with the way I work my bank account, that $4 surcharge, they ain't earning it. <laughs> yes, I am that cheap. Okay, how y'all doing there, ducklets? Chickucks? Whatever the heck you are. That's actually the ducks, eh? I, I've been around little ducks. I used to live in a place that was actually on a farm down in Abbotsford, BC. Right on the American border. And by right on, I mean, if this is my yard, that telephone pole, that's in the States. Yeah, I kid you not, there was a cornfield behind my house. And about two-thirds of the way through it, you crossed into the U.S. <laughs> Yeah, used to have all kinds of issues. I'd phone a utility company, tell them where I lived, and they'd go, well, I'm sorry, this is a Canadian company, you need to call... No, no, no. But, uh, long story short, that quite pleasant little whistling sort of chirp you hear, that's actually ducks. Yeah, they don't sound nothing like ducks when they're little, man. They sound more like birds. Um... Oh, honey's coming along nice. One full pallet, half of another. Not bad, considering the time of year. Alright, so it is a shiny new day. We are going to, uh... Driveth to the store. Now... Oh, I do, of course, right there. Or do I have a thing to get water? <laughs> yeah. That big post with the four-inch hose that hits you in the face every time you walk by? That would be it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's take the, the wee tracker out for a ride. Man, this is one simple pit of gear, eh? Look at that. Is that the little window so you can look down there and see what you just ran over? Oh, it's so nice that that fence isn't something I have to shimmy through. So, we need a little water trailer. We can get our greenhouses in a functional state. Hey, I didn't even notice coming around the corner of that building. Good job leveling the road there, species. That was quite the Humpty Dumpty at first. So I've got to admit, after a little bit of time on this map, this is certainly, um... And I always look at them. One of the more believably Canadian, Canadian maps that I've seen. You know, just little things that after being a lifetime member of the I Am Canadian Club, um, yeah, little things that I notice that go, yeah, I could believe waking up here in the morning, you know. All right, let's uh, let's see what we've got in the land of trailers, milk and water. Um, I know we don't have any milk yet, and it'll be a bloody while, especially if I buy cows as young as the chickens we got. <laughs> but animals. All right, so we got this little dude, two thousand liters. I can't even give the chickens water. 6,000 liters. What else we got here? That's for a different truck than the one we have. 
Ooh, here's some more. What's up with these? 200,000 liters. No. Okay, these are the ones we used on the other map. I think I'm going to buy one of these. Dexter. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't done a blue trailer. That contrasting green is enough to make you gag. So perfect. Let's buy it. Five thousand dollars. I can afford that. What you being so noisy about, little buoy? Really? How big was it? Yo, now you're just lying. I hate to say it. Don't do. You know, you're on YouTube, man. You should tell the truth. Seriously, somebody up there will look it up and find out what you're saying ain't real. Yeah. Yeah, never mind sucking up. I tell you. He's such a cat. Ain't ya? Such a boy. <laughs> what? I'm making a video. In time for your nonsense. Sorry. Those of you that are cat owners will understand. Sometimes the demand for attention by your wee furry thing who is armed like a velociraptor is uh, not something you should ignore. Because they'll get really disruptive just to show you, hey, you had your chance, came into this like a gentleman, you forced my hand, paw, whatever. All right, the TARDIS, a suitable name, a tank that holds some... 5,000 liters in outside dimensions and 20,000 liters as an inside dimension. Yes, a suitable name. Alright. Clever motors. Be clever. Choose clever. <laughs> okay, well. That's, uh. Sure. That's all right. I know. Uh, I know a guy that named his company purely for where it would list in the phone book. So, yeah. Oops! I almost decided to go the long way. Oh, that is so nice. An actual entry. You're back, are you? I can tell by the position of your tail you are up to no good. Hmm? Alright, let's try our new hose. I suppose I should park actually under it where it can fill my trailer. Bup, 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 bup. Bup, there we go. Ooh, it's quick. Nice. I do like a quick hose. Oh, she's freaked me out there for a minute. Uh, oh, don't worry. This is corrugated tin. It isn't corrugated plastic. But, uh, ooh, good job of laying those buildings down. Yeah, it's as close as it would allow me to place these two. And you can see the uh, the difference in height. I had to do a little bit of that good old smoothing in here. As you can see, we've sort of lifted one pillar right off the ground, but it's minimized the amount of lean. That thing would have been just about falling over if I hadn't. So, not perfect, but you know, this wasn't actually a farmland. This was a field. Yeah, so. Entirely my fault that the ground isn't level. I chose to... Uh... What is that, Max? I mean, I noticed that with the truck trailer, but I expected it, because I do have that mod that adjusts by the actual weight as opposed to, I didn't realize it would do this with water. That's not even half of our capacity. So yeah, I'm going to uh, remove a boo that, believe me. Um, 
Yeah, not impressed. Not impressed. And I've always run that mod. Got a generous trigger. Yeah, let's see. This would be why I'm not impressed. Let's say though it drains as quick as it fills. Considering the amount of trips we're gonna have to make, that's a good thing. So, how are these things doing on their grub? What are you doing? Yeah. Really? See, that's the noise a chicken makes. I know why I'm telling you guys this. 90% of you know a heck of a lot more about this stuff than I do. Yeah, that... that I can't say I'm fond of that. You stop it. Twit. I get too close to that field. There we go. 2395. Boy, they're doing a pretty good job of chewing that up. I think we started with 25 or 3,000. Something like that. Alright, let's get the other greenhouse going. Yeah, I don't know why that... They, a mod must have been updated because I don't re recall it being quite that weird before, you know. thousand liters. Five thousand liters. Huh? Okay. Nice door. All right, what shall we grow? Tomatoes? Um... Sure, why not? Let's, let's, let's do tomatoes. Alright. Nice. Which means, now as much as I like tomatoes, I'm not fond of this. Oh, come on. Let us activate. There we go. Yeah, I don't personally eat lettuce. It's a waste of food. Well, room in you for better food. <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay, um... I don't... Oops. I don't think... That these guys... No, they don't. If we get car... Cars. Yeah, I got a barn full of cars. That's useless. Um, if we get cows, we don't need water. We just need food for them. So, let's go put our whaler of a trailer away. Oh, yep. Yeah. Shut the engine off because, you know, that's how most people begin their driving day. Boy, oh boy. Good thing I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Alright, where are we going to put you? That'll work. That will work. Don't run over your motorcycle. Never know when you'll have to flee a cow attack. And yes, I realize I'm showing extreme bravery by starting another cow herd. But, I've looked. 
and uh, absolutely no magic mushrooms in this field which is strange because uh, been to a lot of cow fields in Canada where there were magic mushrooms. Mind you, that was all in BC. Because BC is just that kind of place. Alright. Um, I guess we don't really have a... smaller yard style trailer or anything like it. Well, I could, uh, I've got one skooky bucket. Yes, let's do that. Let's grab the Marlow Turbo Fall. I think I like this one because it's got, although it sits very tall, so it's got good clearance, it is a really stubby little vehicle compared to even the other telehandlers. Oops, I forgot I had to lift it over that spike. Or it could be trouble. Alright. Let's hope this will work. Um, okay, there's the steamy pipe. And, no, I don't want the grass. Yes, I do want the, wow, up to 23. There we go. Yeah, I mean, a 5,000 liter bucket, that's got to be dang near as good as uh, a small trailer, right? Okay, um, hmm. Where R is? I guess inside. I don't think we can get inside. Alright, we have a moment's wander here to see if I can figure this thing out. Okay, that's a gate. Oh, actually, no, it's a bunch of boards. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I could work on that. Alright, this appears to be a place of strawness. I'm going to guess that, well, ah, what do we got here? Oh, I see. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, we need straw before we can get cows. Oh, I have straw. Don't I? Didn't I make like five bales or something? Where'd those go? There they are. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know me. I might have just imagined I made bales. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the first thing we did was harvest a field that left us a couple of wee bales. Alright, so it looks like... That is pretty cool. I've never seen that particular fence before. I like it. All right, well. Another reason to like my stubby little telehandler. That's gonna be one tight little corner. So, let's do this. Yeah, I might just have to remove the rest of that fencing, I think, to make my life a little keener. Let's do that. Let's take it out to... Yeah, I think right level with this one. We'll take that section out and then when I redo the fence, I'll do it right up square with the road here and run it along the far edge. Yep, that makes sense to me. Of course. <laughs> You'd be amazed what makes sense to me. 
All right, let's get right on in here. And let's remove this. So yeah, we'll run the fence back, but we'll run it along here. Yeah, I have a plan. Pretty cool the way I jumped over that great big hump there and slid in through the window, eh? Dummy. Can't get in that side of the vehicle. Okay, here we go. Hmm. No. Bump. Oh, it's not even gonna show me the cow thing. Well, it looks like it put it out to the sides, so I'm gonna assume that that's goodly. Let's get out here and have a look at the numbers. Yep, yep. Nice. Close that up. Probably do the same thing here. Pull this fencing up. And move it right out to the perimeter. So that I can run fence. Yeah, I'll run fence along the road. Do the same here. Because this is a bit of a waste of our... Uh, our property area here. This entire fence could be moved out, you know, run to the edge of this building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's for another day. That is for another day. No, I think we're done with this thing. Another example of just how nimble this is. Because, yeah, it's a pretty tight space here. Pretty tight space. So... So small weeds, eh? Hmm. Let's go to the map, to the precision map. All right, field 45. What's that gonna cost for the soil info? 3100, yeah, I guess. Alright. And our other field is a 48. And that's gonna cost us 1750. Okay. So now, we know that it's okay. Sure. 
Hmm. pH isn't great. We could use a liming. Uh, and we need to weed. Weed, huh? Hmm. Yes, how we weed in Canada, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it works, eh? Yeah. No, it, it... Well, okay, it does, but we don't actually do it that way. Well, okay, we do, we just don't tell people. Yeah, this, this, this is, uh... Gotta go. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. But... I suppose I could make a sad attempt at... Oh, God. <clears throat> Witness, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Species 7 attempts to completely ruin his farm forever and ever and ever, man. Okay, that's about the closest I can get of a view of that. Let's go landscaping. Let's go, oh no, not s slope. I didn't know you could do slope. Raise and lower. Okay. Which is which? Raise is this guy. Alright, let's soften, uh, yeah. Okay, now let's go back to raise. Uh, see, it won't allow me to get inside far enough. Now let's soften that. Uh, it's a little closer. See, that is the problem, is you can't get right inside the buildings with the tools. I imagine if you wanted to go huge, you could, but... Hmm. Let's try a little more. Where do I go? Can I not go smaller? Would it help to go squarish? Okay. Now let's go with a bit of a level. Okay. And soften it to match. How's that? Haven't screwed this side up? No? Well, I mean it is still floating, but... The trailer's a little more even. I don't know. It's, it's... Like I say, it's the unfortunate thing is you generally only need it once you've placed a building down, but it doesn't allow you to work very accurately within a building. So, yeah. I wonder where these guys are going to produce... Ooh, is this where you produce your pallets? Well, that's not convenient, is it? Crap. Well. We'll figure it out. We can drag them out into the open, I guess. So. I think we will at this point. 
little choice but to once again save the game. Dang thing. Um, no, let's, ooh, cultivating. Really? 21,000. Two grand and we get to use that thing. Oh, field eight. Yeah. Guess what? Field eight is huge. Man, that's nice many. Okay, let's borrow the items. And let's beam myself up. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're out of here. That's a big piece of work, isn't it? Bump, buddy, bump, bump, man. Wow. Wow. Crap, I don't even think I can reach a ladder. There we go. Start the engine. Alright, there's no windows behind me. Okay. Oh, Alright, let's grab our Vander Snatch and head down the road. Let's go. Have a look at what we're doing and where we're going. Now, field eight is one big mug of field, man. That's this guy here. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that the field we just harvested? Oh, okay. Surprised we got the biggest tractor in the Ah look out jeez ah. Okay we got any beacons on this thing? There we go. Oh yeah that'll that'll let people know you're there. Because uh, you generally find a tractor the size of a freight train painted bright red. Just ain't going to do it all on its own. Um, is this it? i got to bring our slightly large skier map. No, it's not even close, dude. Do you think you were doing 140 mile an hour? Now, we're unfortunately not going to get any extras on this one. Ooh. I wouldn't mind doing a harvest on that field. Oh, that's that weird one. See where it goes around all the corners? and Yeah, that's still it way off in the distance. Yeah, okay. I don't want to do that field. But I see the wheat field in the distance. Ooh. Might be able to score some baleage. All right. Our old friend, Field 8. Okay, we don't need that. So yeah, I hate to be boring and do the same field again, guys, but geez, this guy pays nice money, you know? 
can't be helped. Alright, let's unfold this ridiculous thing. Look at it. It just keeps going. So what? I ain't done yet. Yeah, you guys thought I was bad with other stuff. You ought to see me with articulated kit. There we go. Almost straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go back as far as we dare. That should do it. Let's drop this down. Okay, and we're off. This is gonna fetch us some nice coin. I mean, we're already at twice what we started. We only had 14k. And we got a water trailer. See, this is your typical Saskatchewan skyline. Indeed. You can pretty much lay a ruler across the horizon. Well, of course, have to be a flexible one, but there you are. Okay, so how badly am I going to mess up and start ripping into somebody's fences here on the corners? This is what we're all anxious to find out, so... Okay, well, we are going to have to do a little bit of snippling backwards here. No, too close. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, these tight edges are going to be a challenge for me. I, I avoid articulated vehicles. Yeah. I've driven them in real life and they're not that weird to drive, but I find in game they're just strange they don't do what I want them to do when I want them to do it oh that'll leave a good angle yes so I'll do a, a little bit here and then I will finish this off screen but yeah this is our next uh Next little bit of coin to uh, fatten the purse strings with. Well, fatten the purse, I suppose. Can't imagine the strings change dimension in any real significant way. Although they may in fact get thinner as your purse gets fatter and the string stretches out. You're like, God, the guy's an idiot. Why does he even think of things like that? That's okay. That's okay. So, big shout out to our regular viewers and friends of the channel and such. And I do appreciate the helpful comments, of course, that come in time to time.
Yeah, I'd like to see a hired worker pull this off. Whoa, I'd like to see me pull it off. There we go. Good thing when they say uh, you're 100% done, you only need to be like 94% done. Because, <laughs> yeah. There's going to be little wee bits of, oh yeah, look what you missed. Because I suck at judging this in normal vehicles. Leave alone ones where I'm naturally handicapped. Well, you know, more than usual. That's a decent little field, that one. What field is that? Because I wouldn't mind pulling a harvest on here. Leroy Wilson! 15, okay. We'll see how much Leroy is willing to pay to have that harvested. Huh, climbed up and fell off the ladder. This thing's way too big for me. And uh, maybe we'll be able to get ourselves either a little extra heat or uh, a bale or two. Now, obviously, I don't want to do a, a wheat field this size and get the bales because, well, you've seen our baling gear. Baler is nice enough, but the trailer could use a little size for a field like that one in front of us. Mm -hmm. And I don't have anything to pick them up other than uh, the wee telehandler. And I'm no sooty farmer. I can't just do a field of 200 bales and make it look like it's an everyday occurrence. Oh, man. Oh, too bad. Made that coffee right before I sat down to record this. And, uh, well... It's not quite a nice coffee, but it's sure as heck not a cup of, uh, hot morning coffee. So now, we're just going to start doing a backy forthy thing. You know, to one degree or another, and uh, go from there. Okay, kick on the cruise control and do the field. And I'm going to call the episode there. Do hope everybody enjoyed. We uh, we got a little bit of a start here going in Saskatchewan, and uh, so far enjoying the map. Like I said, it's uh, I always try it when I see somebody makes a map that's such and such place Canada, and yeah, they're either very European or very American. This one, uh, like I say, it's got this believable feel to it. The buildings are right. You know, the landscape is right. Cool. Alright guys, take care of each other. Hit that like button and ciao for now.